wife found out her husband was cheating on her with the man and he took her life and didn't want he took her life he didn't want her to expose him um this is a dough down dirty despicable nigga This is why I tell y'all on every corner, don't drag nobody into no situation that you don't want them motherfucking people to be involved in. Give people the opportunity to say, I, I'm interested or I'm not. I'm not interested. Yes. Yes. Give the people the opportunity to say, I'm interested in doing this. I'm not interested in doing this. Yeah. And why would you kill her? You end up getting exposed any motherfucking way. Exactly. With all of this shit that done happened and done, and done been said and done, do exposing yourself any motherfucking way. It's already done. You're already doing it. It's already mm -hmm. done. And she might not even have told nobody. She might have just said, you know what? Let me just let's just get this divorce and go to our separate ways. But you didn't even give her a chance. Ladies, if you find out that your nigga is fucking another man, ain't no reason to go to the that does not make you less of a woman. It doesn't make you less of a woman because your nigga is, is has alternative lifestyle choices. Oh, she outed it on Facebook. Someone said she it on Facebook. Oh, she put it on Facebook? Yeah. There's a lot of niggas into the things. This is a real terrible. This is real terrible. Yeah. They said she, hold on. They said she wanted to leave, but what? Uh, she wanted to leave, but he didn't want her to, so he took her life. Put Angel's Nicole's thing up there. Okay, Same reason DLs used to murder us trans women and claim deception after. Again, transphobia and homophobia affects all women. Y'all never want to hear me when I be talking about this stuff. Again, transphobia and homophobia affects all I said this, transphobia and homophobia affects all women. Here we go, a whole two weeks after this just shit. Two weeks later, here we go, two weeks. It's been about two weeks, right, Mo? It's been two weeks? So after this, feel yeah, two weeks, two, two and a half, we maybe three weeks almost. It feels like it's been going for a while. When I said that homophobia... So I said transphobia affects all women. However, homophobia and transphobia affects all women. I don't, nobody don't want to listen to me. They think I just be talking. Homophobia and misogyny visited them. He killed this woman to conceal a secret to conceal a secret that he could have communicated with this woman way before he even married her. Cause sure. it's not like that they just got into this shit and like he just not like now they done got married. Now he all of a sudden doing this is stuff that niggas be doing before they even before they even lock in with you. This shit niggas be doing before they even lock in with you, before they lock down, clink, clink, you know, lock in with you. They be be doing this. So 
Woo! I, I, I'm trying to I'm trying to make sure I'm trying to make sure I say this shit with with the greatest and deepest empathy and sympathy for the situation. But I also want to point back to my conversations when I say we all of us play a part in the whole down low situation. First of all, the down low man is his biggest down his downfall. Second, the community is is also a part of the down the down low. And the gays and the trans is the biggest part of it because we we tend to look I'm finna out. Nobody can nobody nobody could stand in the in the in the gap or in the paint or in the in the line of being outed. Nobody don't know how to, to deal with that. Because it falls back to the community of who's gonna accept, who's going to engage, how they're gonna lose their job, if they're gonna lose their this and the other. So you said, did you see the video where your truth be told posted where the trans woman was messing with this man and then him and his baby mama went to fight her? It affects all. All my life, I had to fight it to keep it on the DL. Ooh. Everyone claims uh, it's a lie. Hold on. There you go. Everyone needs to be truthful about who they are and their sexual preferences. Or otherwise, they will always be mentally imprisoned. And that is that is correct. Yeah, that is most definitely correct. That is correct. So the big the person to blame here is this man. This man is to blame in all of this situation. And now, is he dead too? No, I, I, I believe he's in custody. Is this a is this he's a, is he locked up? Is this a murder suicide? What is this? No, I don't think it's because I think they would have mentioned it, it being a, a yeah, he's locked up. Oh no. He locked up. So he's not dead, but she's dead. Yeah. Where what city was this in? Uh hold on, hold on. Let me I'm gonna have to find that particular case. I'm gonna have to find that particular case. Where the children they go? I know Jameson gone. Okay. A woman is murdered by her DL husband. What city is this? Let me see. Oh, uh, Traverse, Traverse City, Michigan. Michigan. Traverse City, Michigan. Oh, you say Santana talking about the fight? That took, we'll talk about that tomorrow then. Uh, hold on. Yeah, they're saying Detroit. Detroit. I'm getting a lot of tea. So this is my thing with men. Um, men, if you are into the girls and stuff like that, if you like both sides or, or all sides of the spectrum, that's all right. I want you to understand that that's okay that you like all sides of the spectrum. However, I do think that it is important it is important before you get into a deep, long, long standing relationship. Now, if y'all fucking around, you don't know if it's serious or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and this just, these are this is just my opinion. If y'all fucking around, you don't know it's that serious or whatever, and it's somebody that just to jump off or whatever. I don't feel like that you need to be over there to myself. Well, I like trans, I like trans, and, and I like, I, I, if, you, if you put out to the space that I like women. I'm sorry, ladies, 
if they don't be specific and saying that they don't like X, Y, Z, trans women's going to be included in that shit. So if a man say he like women, he like women. Like, and this is this is bad to say, but this is because it's gonna sound bad to y'all ears, but it's just the truth. If a man tells you that he likes women and he sees trans as just <clears throat> trans women, as he sees women in the same space, that's what he likes. Now, if he gets into a long-standing relationship with you and you ask him, or, or, or he or or as a dude, you start dealing with, with women and you get into this long-standing relationship with women. Don't be out here flopping without letting them know. Don't be out here flopping without letting them know. Don't flop without letting the girls know, like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Or 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 and that goes for the girls too. That goes for the girls too. Like, don't be over here, like. You know what I'm saying? Like flopping. That, that tell us too. Like, okay, well, you know, I got a girl, or I'm they, I'm talking to a girl, or I'm fucking around with a chick or a broad or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And you know, whoop de whoop. So that the motherfucker hoe know that they don't need to be trying to get themselves invested. Niggas gonna cheat, whatever the fuck they gonna do. This this gonna happen. Niggas gonna cheat. But when you get into these spaces where you have these long standing relationships with the girls i feel like the dudes need to be like hey i like i like women on all, all spectrum of women i like all spectrum of women shit you know what i'm saying so that if a motherfucker say oh i saw you with the shreddy okay well that's the woman to me that you don't necessarily have to put yourself in no position where you have to do no stupid ass dumb shit like that This is just my opinion, Mo. I uh, think there are so many people that have gotten involved with being, but then you then you ask your you ask yourself, how can you, how can you, how, what is the proper way? What is the proper way to tell the children? What is the proper way to say? Um, is I'm playing devil's advocate here because it's it's real it's really plaguing my thoughts. What is the proper way to tell your partner that you're fluid in your sexuality? Because I don't think a man that messes around with a transsexual or a trans woman is gay. I don't think that at all. Period. I think that a man that deals with a trans woman and a bio woman, I think that he's he, his identity is going to always be straight. But but for me, I think that he's fluid in his sexual in his sexuality. He's fluid or bi. That's my those are my thoughts. You know. So how do you how do we put a system together? Not a we. How do people put a system together to tell a, a partner that a, a partner that they want to have a long-standing relationship with their partner? How do you go to your partner and say, "Hey, you know, I'm," or when you meet when you meet a guy and y'all talking, how does he? How does how is it? How does it? How do you make it comfortable for him to say? Hey, I, I like a variety of, of women. You say, say I'm fluid. Uh, what you say, Jerome? Put your, what Jerome said up there for me, please. Because Jerome, I like the way Jerome talks about stuff. Um, it should be easy to say, I want to be honest and upfront. I date all types of women, including trans women. He can say it just like that. I like a variety of women. All right. Now, let's say a man says, I like a variety. I like, I think that all women are beautiful. I like a variety of women. Does this mean that now that, that he's told you this and the dating doesn't work out with y'all, that you take his, his photograph or you take his communication with you and you start posting and saying, this nigga likes trannies? To be honest, I think you should, how Jerome said it, I think that's how it should be said. Because if you just say you like a variety of women, 
how many how many people are going to automatically say how many how many people are automatically going to think you're talking about trans women? They might think you're talking about big women, little women, uh, well, black women, well, white women. Here's so, the thing: it is also because yes, it's, I can't dance around it. It is also because majority of of bio women don't accept us as being under the umbrella. It's your man. They don't accept that. Now, I'm, this is going to sound harsh, but this is the truth. Men that fucks with women, that like variety of women, don't have the same eyes as you got. <laughs> they see it, all the girls as women. Like, that's the woman. They see all girls as, as women. You know, just like, you know, they see fat, they, they see fat girls, skinny girls, wide girls, thin girls, you know, they see it. That's what they see it as. And so my thing is, if you say it like Jerome says it, that I like of, of all varieties of women, including trans women, do you do you then start to shame him? Do you then start to, and this goes for men and women, like because men can talk this way with they with they with they with homeboys or they friends and shit too. You know, I personally don't think that anybody is owed an explanation to anything that you are like or attracted to because unless those are in a relationship. The, unless y'all in a relationship, because yeah. those are your attractions and that's what you like. I don't think that nobody is, you know, is. Imagine you come to the door and you meet a guy and y'all go out on a date. He take you to dinner. Y'all go out on a date. Y'all courting each other. Y'all been courting each other for a while, going to the movies, kicking it. Is he supposed to say in the first week that y'all are dating, I like all varieties of women, including trans women, or I have dated all types of women, including trans women? Is he supposed to do that? This is my question. I'm just asking a question. To be honest, I I would I would say I would I would I should I would believe that you should because if in the first week, if you guys are dating, if you guys are dating and me staying dating, I'm not talking about y'all just smashing every frequently or whatever. I'm talking about like y'all are trying to become something serious. I think people should know everything that they need to know about you up front in the first week. Yeah, yeah. The, have you ever dated somebody and you asked them about their past relationships? Well, I'm, uh, you, you, you usually ask we that. Talk, you, I mean, jokingly, we may talk about it. But you usually but ask that in no, the beginning. If, if I feel like if things is going to get solid, like if it's going to get solid, solid, uh-huh. we need to get real deep in conversation. But And that's what I mean. So but if you guys... I, are, I, but Mo, if we're dating... Okay, so, so dating and a relationship, not the same thing. Okay, because the reason I say this, though, Maddie, is because this... Think about it. If you guys are dating, you guys are that means you guys are spending some time together. The more you spend time together with somebody, the more you start to develop feelings or attraction to that person. And if you and let's just say you got you you never bring it up, but then a couple of weeks go by. You guys have invested so much emotion and feelings into each other, and then you want to tell the person that that you want to tell the person those things. It's, they're going to be like, damn. It's not something that I'm I'm used to, but I I like the person, and now I'm stuck in this conundrum where I have to figure out: do I do I still want to be with this person that told me this, or do I have to let it go instead of saying it at the beginning to let them have that decision to say, you know what, fuck it, let's go. That's the only reason I say that. All right, Mo, well, I meet men all the time, right? Yep, all the time. I'll communicate nice, some nice. We may go to dinner, we may go to this and the other, whatever. I don't know his body count yet because I'm not really, I need to know if we're going to vibe before I start asking about your body count. Or we may be jokingly talking about a body count. Uh huh. You know, when we start talking about the body count after a couple of times, I like who you know. It gets into that. Like after, when, when I know that it, I'm streamlining it down to, you know, because it's some niggas that I won't talk to if they don't fuck with certain girls that I that I know. I'm not fucking with you. And would you like to know that at the beginning? Well, when we when I we, if we talking 
I need to know, like, because if you tell me that in the beginning, I'm not even going to really talk to you probably in the beginning. <laughs> right. Maybe if you just like, smooth me over a little bit and I'd be like, maybe it's okay if y'all are y'all fucking around now. You know what I'm saying? Because uh -huh. I can't do anything about what has happened in the past. I can't go and change. If you done stuck your dick somewhere, I can't do nothing about that if they done fucked and sucked on you in the past. I don't know. I, that, I, this is before I even came in the, in the atmosphere. Right. Now, are you still communicating with them? Because if you hit me with that up front, the date is over. But I think it would be good for them to hit you with it up front because... The date over. But they, you want me to tell you why it's good? Because at least you haven't invested all your emotion. Because think about it. If somebody was, if somebody was messing with somebody that you didn't like mm -hmm. and they waited to tell you after you invested all your emotions into them, how would you feel? I'm going to want to know, are y'all messing around with each other now? Have you, when the last time y'all been messing around? How long was this going on? What happened? You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I need to know, like, I, but in up front, if you tell me this shit up front, it ain't no, it ain't gonna be no chance. But if you tell me this, like, when we talking and we in a space, I'm like, okay, well, you know, let me see, do I want to further pursue this? You know, cause we're dating. I ain't finna come, bitch. I'm not coming. To, I may not fuck the nigga. You know, I'm not telling you that. So you can run your messy ass over there and tell that nigga, yeah, bitch, I had that bitch out on the date and he was da 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 da. <laughs> if we chopping it up, somebody said if you deeply invested in somebody within a week, get therapy. <laughs> no, I don't think anybody should be invested in somebody in a week. But in a I'm week, saying over time. I'm saying over time, you've invested all of this into somebody. What you then, think, G? When later or you see that that's how I feel. You got to give them a choice. You have you have to. It's hard to make a decision. No, it's, it's not hard. hard to make a, it's, well, it is hard. It's, it's harder. Hard. No, it's harder to make a decision. It's harder. But in in the beginning, I might make a uh, I might make a, a choice in the beginning that might the fuck they might fuck up something that could be pretend because I who I can't go unfuck somebody. No, I can't go unfuck them. I said you should. I said you should be up front with them. I can't go early. unfuck them though. You no, can't no, you go can't. unfuck them. You can't yeah. do it. And I'm not concerned if you fuck them or not in the beginning, because I'm not. I'm not sitting down talking to you because this sounds crazy. Okay, so you do you know such and such? Is you a such and such, such and such, such and such? Maddie, there's certain ways you could bring up the conversation, though, Maddie. Like, perfect no, well, I'm blunt like that. Oh, I know you are. I'm blunt. Well, I like know that. you are. Do you know this bitch right here? <laughs> I know you are. Do you know any of this bitch friends right here? I got her picture right in my Do phone. Do you know a circle of these bitches? <laughs> First of all, bitch, I'm going to be on your page and I'm going to see who uh. that's what's going to. Make me make my determination. Yeah, already. I already know Maddie is CIA. I'm gonna be on your page. Maddie is CIA. You got social media? What's your What's your Instagram? What's your Instagram? What's your Twitter? What's your What's your and What's your backup thing? What's your email? What your email is? Any and, and there's any man that I have ever chopped it up with, you can attest. And if you don't know now, you do. I've already been down your following list. <laughs> <laughs> I've already been down your list of who you're following on Instagram. Because uh, 99.999% of the time, them, who them niggas is following is who they inboxing back and forth. <laughs> they got some type of inbox conversation. <laughs> Correct. But in, but that, that makes me like, okay, well, I'm going to eat. Shit, I'm going to get me, the, I'm going to go get this motherfucker two for 20. <laughs> But but don't but don't I'm going to get this two for twenty. But let's be real though. I'm going to get this two for twenty, and I'm motherfucking finna get this ass blow blowed out, and I'm gonna go by my fucking business. <laughs> and I'm finna go by my motherfucking business after I eat this two for twenty and suck this dick, get my dick sucked. I'm out of here. Okay, I but, ain't taking this shit serious. Okay, how about? But look, how about that? That's another perfect example, Maddie. You go out on a date with somebody, and then. And then you tell the person right up front. You don't wait. You don't wait until 
weeks have passed. You tell her right up front. I'm not looking for nothing Nigga, serious. I I'm just listen, looking for something for a good your, time. Man, if I go on your motherfucking Instagram and you and you try to fuck me and I see you following a slew of bitches that I don't really fuck with or I know them hoes motherfuckers got them, I don't buy hoes body counts and I know what them hoes do and shit like that. And I see this type of shit and I know what them hoes buy. I'm going to get my dicks up. I'm going to get my pussy fucked. I'm going to drink up your liquor, eat your food. Or I'm going to do this two for 20. Or uh, whatever the fuck we at, I don't, we don't win it. And then I'm going to let you know that this is what it is. We jumping off. Shit, we finna jump off. We finna jump off. Because if I know Becky or Eda, and I know she eat everybody that speak to her, I know you not you not got eight because the bitch tried to eat me. <laughs> I'm here for a good time. That's right. Right. Let them know what. But you're sitting over here. No, I'm gonna do this when I see your Instagram. My mind gonna already click. So you won't tell them. Hey, I'm not. I ain't gonna tell you that. Why? No. Why? No. So that if he keeps see, so that if he keeps stuff from you, then that's okay too. Then, no, right? I'm not for, bitch. Why you? I know what your what by your by your following count. But you assume great. it though. I'm not assuming. You assume. If I see that one bitch on there, <laughs> you assume it's one bitch that's on you every assume. nigga you, profile. You don't got, but you don't you, have you don't have proof. You, remember, you don't have man, proof. Fuck that. You don't have proof. You remember man. when you used to sign up for fucking uh, <laughs> for MySpace and Tom was on there? <laughs> it's a bitch that's a Tom right now. That's on every nigga profile. <laughs> <laughs> but Maddie, you can't assume. You can't assume, Maddie. You can't assume. You get you need proof. It's a bitch out there that's a ton right now that's on everybody profile. We all know what that bitch do. <laughs> Maddie, have you heard of proof innocent until proven no, guilty? I'm watching your following now too. <laughs> you, that, can, you can watch my oh, following. I, I see that one bitch with that one both fucking. <laughs> You can see my following. I, I can, I can you listen. can watch my following. I, listen, but we not fucking. And we friends. No, no, but I'm saying, but my whole I'm saying thing period. Is, I'm saying but period. But my thing is, I'm going to know when you're fucking. <laughs> oh, yeah, he done got turned out with this bitch right here. It's six of the, six of the same bitches over here. Now you... <laughs> nah. <laughs> you say I'm going to the friends. That's right, ship, ship. You better. That friend list gonna tell you everything. And then some of them niggas is so sneaky, they won't even follow you, but they be inboxing back and forth. This is why I tell y'all hoes it's important to get in them niggas' phone. So, but can we say the same? How about, is it the same wet thing for women too? Though? Oh, I'm gonna give you my phone. No, no, I'm just saying, if we go through your followers, is does it, if we go through your followers and we see certain dudes on your followers, do, y'all can we be, assume? Y'all niggas don't be invested like bitches. We don't be invested like that. That's the point. Y'all niggas don't be invested when we bitches don't. get invested. So it don't work. It don't just, it's double step. It don't work. <laughs> niggas ain't as, niggas not as invested as you bitches right. did. You right. You, 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 are, you, because it ain't nothing to cut that bitch off and go back to foot that bitch that's following you. Go get your dick up. <laughs> so, you know. You said, Maddie, would you date someone that has been with your relatives or friends? Let's talk about that. I can't. I can't. We talk. I talked about this with my with my uh, cousin on our thing. I was like, Mo, no, never. Listen to me. I can't. Maybe your your relative or your friend is that Tom that's on the page. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it, Maddie. I cannot have relations with somebody that my friends or my my family members have already had relations. So, with. we friends. Let's say I was in the is in the women, and uh, me and I don't fuck the woman, and me and you tight as we is. You want to go fuck her? Nope. You crazy nigga. I got titties. I, I don't count. <laughs> <laughs> I don't count. You know nigga. what? You know what? You right about that. If it was a if it was a dude, right? If it was a dude, that's a different thing. That's a different thing. That's a different thing. That's true. Now nah, I'm a bitch. That's I don't true. count. That's true. Now, now that motherfucker may come back and tell you that you your dick ain't here like GS dick here. Yeah, you did, did, would you that. feel some we kind of have that problem? We oh, we, have that you, problem. Listen, because I, I listen. I, every you time, would. No, I wouldn't. You because would. every time I go to work, <laughs> I go to work. <laughs> what made the fuck you think I don't work overtime, <laughs> nigga? <laughs> you don't got this. <laughs> this special. <laughs> I, I don't need titties. You I don't, don't need titties. But I got them though. <laughs> and this special, nigga. <laughs> Nigga, this special. <laughs> Motherfucker won't be telling you I ain't never been hit by a bitch like 
fuck? That big titty bitch fuck the you shit That big, big titty bitch, bitch, you ain't got nothing on this motherfucking hoe right here. That bitch abomination that I get entangled with all the time. Abominate me, bitch. <laughs>